Hi guys! Welcome back to Compassion Kitchen. Uh, today I'm doing a Trader Joe's grocery store haul. So I'm just going to show some cool things I picked up recently at my last trip to Trader Joe's. Um, for those that do not know of Trader Joe's, shame on you. Also, it's an awesome store that has super cheap things and also delicious things. So, um, most of the stuff I'm going to show today is new to me. I haven't seen it before. Usually they rotate their stock, so um, we'll get new things all the time and also seasonal things as well. So, I just want to show some cool things that I picked up. So, the first one is yellow jackfruit curry. So, this is really good. I did have this already the other day. And... Um, Jackfruit is really good and it's really hard to find because a lot of times they sell it in a brine and it's kind of hard to cook with like that and they don't grow jackfruits in the States. So usually if you do find it at an Asian market, it's you have to eat it right away. And if you've seen them, they're those giant fruits. Um, it's really good. It has a really good texture into it. You can do a lot of things with it. Uh, it's really good in the curry though. Next is meatless meatballs. Uh, these are new too. I haven't I haven't seen them actually before um, the last trip I went on, but they're good. They're made with uh, textured soy protein, which um, a lot of the mock meats are made with that. I'm not a huge fan of the mock meats. Um, I kind of feel like they're not necessary a lot of the times. It's not that I won't eat them, but sometimes some companies go a little too far to make things what they're not, you know. Um, I do like seitan if it's made right and it's seasoned right and everything. And that's just wheat gluten, so it's basically bread anyway. Um, but some of, the, some of the times when they go a little too far with the, the faux bacon and stuff, it gets a little too much. But uh, And I was never a huge fan of meatballs anyway, but I did pick them up because I did want to try them. They're actually pretty good. We threw them on a pasta the other night. Turned out good. Also, as a new one, uh, this cauliflower pizza crust. This was really good. I was actually kind of surprised. I mean, I, I do love cauliflower, um, but this is just basically cauliflower and corn flour. Um, and it, it's, it's, I wish it was a little bit bigger. I have, um, I think it's a 16 inch pizza stone. And usually when I do make a pizza from scratch, I'll fill up the whole, you know, stone to make it. So it's a little tiny, um, but other than that, it is really good. I did like it, and um, it's sometimes it's good just to not have this huge plate of of uh, gluten, you know, with with everything else. But it was good. I did like it. Uh, another one that actually I can give credit to my uh, vegan Reddit community page I go on is this um, kale, cashew, and basil pesto. This was really, really good. If that's in focus, it's kind of tiny. Um, it's good, it's, it has more kale in it than basil, which is probably why it's only 350, because the size this big and full pesto would probably be $10. Um, I have made kale pesto before, yeah, it is it is good. It's obviously not like basil. You can't really beat basil with the pesto. Um, and I think they put in the cashews to give that little creaminess that Parmesan would normally have too. Uh, so I do like that. And I think, I think like I said, it was around 350. So it's pretty good. Um, we only use half for one, one serving for my wife and I. So it'll last. Also is Stollen which is a, uh, it's a German cake. Um, I'm not a huge cake fan either, but I, I did pick it up because it was vegan, which I don't know if normally they are. I think they are, because this one is actually made in Germany, which is nice. Um, and it's got the marzipan on top, which is the almond powdery goodness. So yeah, I did like this. We already got into it, as you can see. Uh, it's good with a little coffee in the morning instead of breakfast, or that is the breakfast. And last but not least is almond nog. 
Also something I was never too, too into when I did have uh, the normal version with the eggs in it. Um, this one's good though, it's just as thick, I think, as, um, as one with the eggs. Um, yeah. So that's just a few things I picked up this weekend at Trader Joe's. Um, I do want to do more videos like this on food hauls. I feel like they're good to show people kind of different things and um, kind of things you wouldn't expect to find at certain grocery stores. And uh, I know some people just don't aren't familiar with some of the more vegan-based uh, items, kind of like the, the meatless meatballs and stuff. But um, yeah. So I would like to do another one, I think, with uh, fruits and vegetables and another one with just our normal staple things we get every week. So, all right, guys, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have anything good to say, please share in the comments below. Thanks.